So I've been questioning my motives lately, and I, you know, I am, I'm almost 20 years old. I'm going to be starting my sophomore year in college this year at ASU West, and I've really been asking myself, why the heck am I doing this? Well, at this point, I'm really just doing college for the experience, because after doing all the research and looking at everybody around me and seeing how their experience went, this whole college thing is really starting to take a toll on me. I'm really, I mean, this is, it's obvious that college is the biggest scam in the U.S. I hate to say it, but Americans are using education to trap us, and that is sad. I mean, when we were young, well, younger, I should say, ever since kindergarten, we were always pushed to go to college. Um, when we got to high school, we had to take all these, we were really pushed to go to high school then and taking all these, um, courses to get our diploma and the adults, um, teachers, role models, your parents, they all tried to tell, wanted to tell you that the only way to be successful in the real world is to go to college and get your degree. But in this day and age, that's really tough. I mean... The average, the average graduate graduates with at least a thirty thousand dollars in debt, and it's just it's it's really sad because we because we really we really push these we we society is really pushing us to go to to go to these colleges and stuff, but. All at the same time, it's really just adding a lot of stress in our lives, both academically and both financially. I mean, why is it that why is it that other countries colleges cost little to nothing? All funded by the government, but come to the U.S. Oh. Borrow this, you gotta pay this back, and blah 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 blah. You gotta pay thousands of dollars of of this back, and blah 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 blah. You gotta pay this, pay that. Books are are expensive. Now, don't get me wrong. There's there's still some good deals when buying books. You don't have to buy. You don't have to spend a hundred and fifty dollars on a book if you don't have to. Try going on Amazon. Try to see if there's a PDF file for free, or um. Or get or or why not get an older edition? I've gotten an older edition of a book before. It's still the same pages, still the same text, the everything, the same material. You can get a you you, you don't have to get the newest edition like the professors re require you to. Another thing is how college can be a scam is your degree now. No one said your your degree. Just so so just so you all know, it's not a promise. There's no guarantee that that degree is gonna get you a job. And let me tell you why. I have friends that I work with. Um, there's a server. Um, masters in bi has a masters in um bio biology or something like that. Look at her. She's still. Look at her. She's in her late twenties now, and she's still being a server. I know a bartender who has um who who who's a bachelor's and a doctor degree serving margaritas and stuff like that but some of some people I've known that have a college degree have just prom had just been promoted to management but there's a the thing you didn't need a college degree to to promote to to be promoted to a manager all you had to do really was get hired and at that as a server first or or a cook and then work hard and work your way up and you can start making the big bucks as a manager you didn't you didn't have to go to an institution and pay thousands of dollars and take all these unnecessary courses and then leave in huge debt who wants to like come on who wants to leave college at 22 something whatever I'll be I'll be 22 when I leave college and 
why who want who wants to start at that young age all in debt and i've known people who couldn't pay their who couldn't pay their tuition off until until they were in their 70s there is a woman i know right now that is still paying off her tuition at age 73 and when she, and when she went to college all those those decades ago i mean she was in her 20s she's this is we're talking 50 plus years now another thing how call nothing how college gets you is although your degree is not promised but they always make you take all these irrelevant irrelevant classes for me for me um for an example i am i'm doing a culinary arts degree program i'm hoping to get my bachelor's from there and if you if you see my course list i have to take not only have to take um culinary I honestly only had to take four culinary courses. That's all I should take. But no, there's at least like another. I can't even count that I have to take. Um, let me see. I gotta take accounting. I have to take Italian courses, French, Italian. Um, you need a math course. You need a science course. I have to take physics, and all these um, marketing courses. It's like my goal in life. My what my jaw what this degree is requiring me to do is just to cook. That's all. Why do I have to take physics? Why do I have to do all this calculus and stuff? I mean, I've already I, I'm done with my math. I've completed it last year. Thank God I was. I'm really good at math, and all I really had to do was take um just two more during my freshman year. But is it real? why just why people let me tell you why the deans and these enrollment advisors they want their they 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 don't when they tell you these classes are required that you know that are not relevant to your degree and your job it's not required what they're doing is they're trying to fund each of these um academic departments and they're doing that with your money. And if it's not your money, then it's the government's money, which you've gotten a loan for. Now, yes, you can get your grants and scholarships and all that, but there's only it's only going to be so. Um, but not everybody's lucky to have a grant or um, continuously getting grants and scholarships from um, the government. Yeah. So when they when they uh, say, oh, you got to take this uh, physics course and all that. You don't need to take it. They know that, and you know it as well. All they want it, all they want to do is fund that program. That's what they want to do. They're funding that program using your money. And you graduate, and you don't get a job. It's not their problem. It has to be yours. And and they're sitting up buying all this new stuff and updating these new gyms and and all that stuff with your money college can be a waste of a time it can be it can be useful now there is going to be some jobs that you're going to need college for like if you want to um like of course if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or something but other but really it's not I mean, you could be doing something else with your time. Um, while you're out, I mean, you may have a minimum wage job right now, but while you're making that minimum wage, hey, better off than spending all that money and getting in debt. So it says we have to do, we have to do it. When, when as a when as a society, are we going? To take, are, are we going to take this? Stop taking this, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm not really um, being literate in my words right now, but don't get me wrong, I'm really trying. When is we as a society going to stop taking this? When are we going to say enough of this? Like, heck, if there is some sort of petition to lower the tuition, hey, I will be the leader if you want me to. I will... I will riot. I'll do whatever it takes because it's ridiculous. And you know what? I want it. And we, 
do you do you know how college the tuition it has doubled and tripled all over time all over these decades and stuff and it's and it's and it's more likely what am i mean and it is going to keep increasing as this nation gets to the future years and all that stuff and this is going to affect our children and all that stuff if i have a son or daughter i want them to have an education but at the same time i don't want them to spend an arm an arm and a leg just to get a degree you know what i'm saying i mean i don't mind paying for my education but why do i have to pay thousands of dollars for it it just really uh, it's a really big eye opener i mean high school you had it good i mean high schools and elementary schools this was all funded by the government education board but college they're not going to fund that so you have to pay on your own and if you can't then you got to take a loan from them now you're lucky for them now, if you're lucky, you'll keep getting grants and scholarships. Grants and scholarships, you don't have to pay back. That's your money. But I'm really questioning myself after, I mean, going, is is it, ask yourself, is it really worth going through all the stress, the academic stress from your professors and all those assignments they give you? And the professors, they don't give a rat's ass about you, I'm going to be honest. Uh, they just hired to do whatever, and they don't they don't care. They don't care if they're well liked by their students. They don't care if you're learning. Um, they well, of course they'll teach you, but they won't teach you in ways you understand. I mean, I have so many professors that are. You go to ratemyprofessor.com. Rated horribly. They don't care. They still got their job. At the end of the day, they get to get paid, be paid, and do what they want with that money and all that stuff. Pay their bills, buy a new TV, or whatever they want to do. But why? It's but why? And they make you slip and write all these long essays, and and you work your heart and you work your hardest to get that A or that B, and there they are. They're still get, trying to give you a C and D. They fail you. You got to retake the class again, which means more money you have to spend. It's not it's not cool. It really isn't. I'm I'm really I'm really tired of it. America today is just it's just become unlivable. It really has. It's not And I'm just saying just in general, not just education, but living in a country where there's terrible justice system, um, still racism today in this world. I mean, really, people, it's a skin color. Who cares? We, you cut us, we, we bleed red. We're all the same, okay? We're all one race, the human race, okay? And then the government, they just don't care. They really don't. So, I propose one day we just do something about it. Because I'm ready. To, I, I will riot. Trust me, I will. I will buy some pitchforks. Some fires. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. But I, 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 mean, I just mean like ticket signs. I'll just buy a ticket sign or something like that. But yep, yeah, that's my thoughts on college. Um, my just my advice is it's not to discourage you. I just want you guys to be careful. I don't want you guys to think that college is your only way to be successful in the real world. It isn't. You know, I've had. I mean, like I said, there's people who who um don't have a degree who just have a high school diploma and they still became successful making a lot of money um sometimes it all it takes is being street smart you don't have to be academically smart smart all the time um and it's just and it's ironic because like i said there's also people with these degrees 
friends of mine being servers and making tips. I mean, it's not bad money. I mean, because tips, it varies, but um, they could still be making more money somewhere. Yep, but that's my thoughts. Sophomore year is coming up, and I can already feel the burden, the pain, the stress. I can feel all of it coming. And I was and I was hoping that this year would be a good year, but I'm starting to have my doubts. But thank you for watching your video. Um, have a wonderful, good semester. Um, enjoy college. Um, especially to the incoming freshmen. And then one more advice: be sure you know what you want to do. It's like college; you have to be sure because. You keep you if you if you don't want to know what you want to do and you keep changing your major and stuff, it's more money that you've given away. Think about that.